In this technology age, it's easy to be in front of a screen all day with so much information at our fingertips, but... That experience of being on the computer is much different than being outside. You don't have to push yourself. You don't have to take care of yourself. Marshall Ulrich, known as the Endurance King and author of Both Feet on the Ground, didn't start out as an adventure seeker. But when life threw him some tough hurdles, that all changed. Starting with, it's how he dealt with loss. One of the reasons I got into ultra running was I lost my first wife. At the age of 30, Marshall started running from the pain in the form of ultra running, which is longer than a traditional 26 mile marathon. So that's how I got into the ultra running sport, uh, running first and then ultra running because I discovered that the longer that you stretch the distance out, the better I would do. Then he started winning races like the Badwater Marathon, described as the world's toughest foot race, 135 miles starting in Death Valley. Which is at minus 282 feet to the top of Mount Whitney, which is just over 14,500. These new adventures allowed him to move on with his new wife, Heather. Lo and behold, she taught me how to love again because I was afraid if I loved another person such as her, that she would just go away too. Which led him to chase the unexpected. So it was just a progression of running to adventure racing and then to mountaineering. Where he took on the massive goal of ascending the seven summits. That's the highest peak, of course, on each continent. Including Mount Everest. And I was able to do them all on the first try. He's finished more than 130 ultra marathons and even channeled his inner Forrest Gump. Running across America was just uh, very, very difficult. 57 years old, and I finished running that 3,000 plus miles across America uh, in 52 days. Running across the country helped realign his thinking about the world around him. I'd like to see people get themselves grounded to just kind of come to peace with yourself, come to peace with the environment. We've kind of gotten away from that, and I think instinctively, we just have this innate ability and desire to get outside. He says getting grounded lets you rediscover yourself. I was afraid of water, I was afraid of heights, so I got into adventure racing, and one of the reasons I did that was to face those fears. Right on. And after countless accomplishments, Marshall has a new take on life. Just push yourself a little bit into that zone that is uncomfortable, and I think it'll pay dividends. Going the extra mile for a lifetime of discovery is on the top of the list.